Hey there, my name is Leah and I am the creator of Beeswax and Wix Candle Company. If you're new here, thank you for being here today. I make all natural essential oil candles with beeswax and this is my journey of starting my own candle business. Back to the content. Today we are gonna be talking about three different points. Do essential oils actually work for candle making? Are essential oils or fragrance oils better for candle making? And how to get a good hot throw from essential oils? First, because I will be talking about essential oils in this video, and this is a touchy subject, I want to put a disclaimer right here that I am not a doctor, I'm not a healthcare practitioner, I'm not a naturopath, I'm not a certified aromatherapist or apothecary. I do not have any health certifications, but I have done a lot of research on essential oils. This video is supposed to be taken as information and just that. Basically, this is a recap for you guys of everything that I have learned personally about essential oils. That being said, let's get to the content. First of all, there's probably a reason you're looking for this content in the first place. The problem that most people have with essential oils is that the hot throw is not strong enough, the cold throw is not strong enough, or you feel like you're wasting all of this money using essential oils and you just can't smell them when they're burning. Another reason you might be looking for this video is that you're wondering how safe essential oils actually are to breathe in and how safe they are for candle making. Before we answer either of those questions, let's talk about what essential oils and fragrance oils are and what they're made of. This is an example of an essential oil. This is cinnamon cassia by the brand Now Oils. Let's see if we can get that clear. Essential oils should always say 100% pure essential oils on the front so that you know that the only thing that you're getting is that essential oil. It will also have an ingredients list on the back telling you what is in the essential oil. You want to make sure that it is just the essential oil that you're getting and it doesn't have any perfumes or fragrances added to it. Essential oils are made from distilled plant extracts. Because of this, essential oils are completely natural and are well known for their health benefits. Even though this looks like an essential oil, this is a fragrance oil by Barnhouse Blue. This is their chocolate oil. It does smell very good. So if it's a fragrance oil, it'll say fragrance on the front. This one says finest fragrance oil on the bottom. Fragrance oils are typically synthetic chemical aromas made with something natural like essential oils, but not always. This gives fragrance oils a much more wide variety of scents that you can get, unlike essential oils where it's basically just limited to plant extracts. That said, I have used a lot of different essential oils that have really different scents, like uh, vanilla essential oil has a very sweet scent, while orange essential oil has very citrusy, clary sage is very woodsy, and lavender is obviously a very floral type scent. There are countless others, and you can mix them together to make different kinds of scents of your own. Essential oils also have an extremely long shelf life, unlike fragrance oils. So real quick, let's recap the benefits of each. As far as essential oils go, essential oils are way less toxic, they do have some health benefits to them with aromatherapy, and they do have a very long shelf life. You can also get a good hot throw from essential oils, you just have to use more essential oil or you have to know what kinds of essential oils will smell more potent in candles. Because all essential oils are different, essential oils no essential oil was going to have the same fragrance load so there's a lot more testing involved with essential oils which can be a little bit of a downside but they're still what i prefer to use for candle making let's scooch back to one of those first questions that i talked about in the beginning of the video are essential oils safe to use in candles there's a lot of talk on the internet about whether candles that have essential oils are safe to burn or not. Some people think that essential oils are very toxic and some people think that they are like the best thing ever. And I kind of fall somewhere in between pro essential oil or anti essential oil. And this just means that like those pro essential oil people are like, let's use it for everything. Essential oils are good for everything single thing that could possibly be wrong with you and then the other people are like essential oils are a stupid scam and they don't work at all. I don't think that that's true. How I feel about essential oils is that they are great for aromatherapy. I personally feel like everything that we need can come from the earth. That there are lots of plants that can heal us in different kinds of ways and this is just my opinion because like I said before I don't have any certifications this is just for my own research but 
essential oils help me in my personal life with feeling more calm. Um, I feel like they're good for my overall wellness and well-being. There's essential oils that are good for lifting your mood and helping you focus. There are a lot of good benefits that you can get from using essential oils just for wellness purposes. And I mean, who doesn't want to feel more well? As far as people that think that essential oils are toxic, there are some essential oils that should not be used directly on your skin. They should be used with a carrier oil. That doesn't apply to candle making, of course. There are essential oils that are not good for your pets to breathe in too much of. This would be more with a diffuser. If you have a heavy load of oil in your diffuser and your animal is, for some reason, in a small room with that diffuser by themselves without a way to get out, that's the only real way that I could see that essential oils could be bad for breathing in. You should also always read up on whatever essential oil it is that you are using for your candles and make sure there are no health risks or uh, problems that you want to completely avoid. Now that we've talked about safety, let's talk about hot throw. So is it possible to get a good hot throw from essential oils with your candle? I know that a lot of people have this idea that you just shouldn't even use essential oils for candles because they don't think that they're gonna work. And I have only ever used essential oils for my own candles and I can tell you that I have gotten great feedback on them from all the people that I have gifted them to. Some of the essential oils that work better are essential oils like cinnamon and vanilla and jasmine and sandalwood. Those types of essential oils have a very good hot throw because they are so strong and so potent. If you're using an essential oil like lemon oil or frankincense, those types of oils that are more subtle do not have as good of a hot throw and you have to add a lot or just add them in with other oils to kind of pull the fragrance up. A good rule of thumb of trying to figure out if your essential oil is going to be strong enough to use in a candle, just open the bottle and smell it. If it has a good smell, like a good throw just from opening up the essential oil container, that's a good indicator that it will be a strong essential oil in a candle, like eucalyptus oil. Eucalyptus oil is very easy to smell in the bottle and it's very easy to smell in a candle when it's lit. The only real way to test though is just testing the candles out. Uh, as much as it is annoying to waste a bunch of wax doing testing, the best and only way that you can really test to see if your candles work well is just to test them. And if you're making wax melts, you want to test those out too to see, especially with those, because with wax melts, the only benefit you're getting is the aroma. You don't have a candle to look at, you don't have a flame to look at while it's burning. It's just for the aroma. If you are somebody that is wanting to buy candles and you want to live a more holistic and healthy natural lifestyle, I would say that essential oil candles would be a great addition to a lifestyle like that. For me in my house, I only use stuff that is natural. I buy honest company stuff for cleaning and for stuff that we use on our skin and seventh generation for cleaning products that I use. So I'm the kind of person that just wants to use naturally made items in my house. So I only use beeswax essential oil candles, sometimes soy and essential oil candles, but I am very picky about the natural things that I want to use in my own home. If you're like that too, essential oil candles might be the right choice for you. That being said, I am coming out with my very first line of candles this summer and I am very excited about that. My goal is to have them published on my website June 1st and I'm going to be starting with three different scents that I'm keeping a secret and I will let you guys know on Instagram when I've decided what that's going to look like. I will leave my Instagram handle in the description box below with a link so that you can click on that and follow me over there so that you don't ever miss out on any updates that I have. I usually update everything on Instagram first. As we're ending and before you guys leave today, do leave me a comment below letting me know what type of candle video you would like to see me do next. I did leave a post in my community tab asking if you like the talking head videos like this more or the videos where I'm actually making candles more. And I think since I just did this one, I'm going to do a candle making video next time. But let me know what you want that to look like and I'll see you in the next one. Keep creating. See you next time.